You can now follow me on Twitter and suggest my next video. Follow me on Twitter. Or give feedback on my previous videos. Follow me on Twitter. I will be having polls once I reach 10 followers. Follow me on Twitter. Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial series, we will be covering how to create the field artillery shown in my previous showcase. I will go through modeling the gun in a special program, building and rigging the gun and gun carriage, making fire and smoke particles, and finally putting it all together in scripting. Since this all takes a fair amount of time, I will split up this tutorial series into four parts. I hope you enjoy and learn something. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first, if you haven't already, download and install Blender. It's a 100% free program, so you have nothing to worry about. I recommend downloading version 2.79. Click on Download. Once completed, find your download file and run it. Click Next, and read through the license agreement. Check the box. Choose where you'd like to install Blender on your computer. Hit install and wait. Once completed, click finish. Search for Blender on your computer and run. You may see a screen like this. Simply click away to remove. Now we're in Blender. So first, we want to delete everything in this workspace. Click A, then X to delete everything. Next, you would want to set your controls to something more natural. Go to File, User Preferences, Input, and Select with Left. There are also other settings in here if you're using a laptop to make sure you set. Now we can start making the cannon. Get a blueprint from the internet. In this case, I want a 19th century ordinance. Find the largest image size possible. Save it where you can find it. And open it in Blender. In order to see the image, you must be in orthographic mode. To switch between perspective and orthographic, press number pad 5. Then click number pad 7, 9, 3, or 1 to view top, bottom, right, or front, respectively. In this case, I will be modeling from top, number pad 7. To move around, use the middle mouse button. To zoom, use the middle mouse button scroll wheel.
and to pan, use the middle mouse button plus shift and drag. Now let's insert a mesh. Click shift plus A and add a cylinder mesh. Click R to rotate and Y to lock it on the Y axis. Then type 90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. Press Z to toggle in and out of wireframe mode. This is very important. Press G to grab it and drag it to the center of the barrel. Press S to scale. Press Tab to edit the mesh. Press B to box select. Press G to grab it and X to lock it to the X axis. S to scale. B to box select. E to extrude. And escape to leave it in its original position. S to scale. Press G to grab it, and X to lock it to the X axis. Now we must repeat the sequence for here as well. Now we're going to add edge loops. To do this, press Ctrl plus R and scroll to add 5 edge loops. Now we're going to use proportional editing. To toggle in and out of it, press O. To set the effect area, scroll with middle mouse wheel. Once completed, make sure to disable proportional editing.
Now we have the basic shape of the barrel. But we need to make a hole for the bullet. To do this, select all the vertices on the front by holding ALT and clicking on the vertex. E to extrude and escape to confirm default position. S to scale it to the size you like. And E to extrude backwards. Now we need to make the gun barrel more smooth. To do this, go to the left panel window. And navigate to the modifiers tab. Add modifier and subdivision surface. Roblox only allows meshes with a maximum of 10,000 triangles. Your triangles are shown here. To fix our gun barrel, toggle edit mode by pressing tab. Hold alt and click on the vertex. Press shift plus E to make a crease and drag. Repeat this sequence. Once completed, press T to open the toolbar on the right. Click Smooth. Now it has this weird shadow effect. To fix this, we need to add edge loops to every crease we made. Control plus R and slide it as close as possible to the crease. Repeat this sequence.
Now you're done. We can save this as a .obj. Go to File, Export, Wavefront.obj. Save it to where you can find it. Now you can save this blender scene if you'd like to make changes to your gun later. Start Roblox Studio. Enter a new world. Enable grid, display axes, output, explorer, and properties, found in the view tab. Now we need to add a mesh part. Right click workspace, insert object, and mesh part. Now add your gun barrel as a mesh in the properties window. Click No. The gun barrel is now in Roblox. Now I will make a few cosmetic changes to the gun to make it look better. You've completed this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll be learning how to build the carriage for the gun, also rigging our gun and carriage so it moves. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then!